Hello Tamers and welcome to round 8 of the Roundtable Conference Mirage Gaugamon vs Belfamon Belfamon has the first move Security setup Digimon standby Let's open the digital gates Hatching Demi Maramon Evolves into Fescomon Then for 2 cost into Eismon Scatter Mode Turnover, hatching, Waniamon. Evolves into Gaumon, then for three cost, Gaumon is played. BT11 on play search, one, two, and three. They add the new BT13 Gaugamon to the hand. Turnover, scatter mode moves out and immediately goes for security on 4k DP. Check, 12p on Mirage Gauga, it's taken out. On delete, draw three, trash two. One, two, three. They trash Belfamon Rage Mode and Fescomon. Then with Demi Maramon's Inheritable on delete, draw one, trash one. This time they choose Gizmon XT. Finally, for three cost, Proto Gizmon is played. On play, draw one, trash one. They choose to trash Porcupamon. Turn over, Gaumon moves out. Now first, for two cost, the lower Gaumon will evolve into Gaugamon. On Evolve, if you don't have a Toma in play, you may play one from your hand. And with that, Gaugamon goes for security on 5k DP. First, with Toma's Your Turn effect. When your Digimon with Gaumon or Gaugamon in its name attacks, by suspending this tamer, both players draw the top card of Dear Dex making it more difficult for Belfamon to achieve their win condition. Then, with BT11 Gaumon's Inheritable on attack, if you have a Tamer in play, one opposing level 3 Digimon is bounced to its owner's hand. Check! But it's the option card, Underworld Call! On main, you may play one purple level 4 or lower Digimon from your trash at no cost. They choose Porcupamon. And on play, the top two cards of the deck are trashed. And since Porcupamon is a blocker, Gaumon is not going to attack. For two cost, it evolves into another Gaugamon and turnover. Hatching Demi Maramon. Now first, Proto Gizmon will be played. When you would play this card by deleting one level 2 Digimon in your breeding area, reduce the play cost by two. So by killing Demi Maramon, it is played for three minus two, one cost. Once again on play, draw one and trash one. Now for 3 cost, the level 4 Porcupamon will evolve into Astamon. On play and on evolve, by deleting one of your other purple Digimon, this Digimon may evolve into a Digimon with Belfamon in its name from your hand at no cost. So sacrificing Proto Gizmon, sealed in the deepest area of the dark area, witness the Demon King of Eternal Slumber. Astamon now evolves into one of the 7 great Demon Lords, Belfamon Sleep Mode. One draw. On play and on evolve. By placing one Belfamon Rage Mode from your trash at the top of this Digimon's evolution cards, this Digimon can't attack and isn't affected by your opponent's effects until the end of your opponent's turn. So placing Rage Mode on top of its soul, the countdown to the Demon Lord's Awakening begins. But that's not all. With Proto Gizmon's on delete, by placing two cards with Gizmon in your name from your trash at the bottom of your deck in any order, you may play one Gizmon AT from your trash and no cost. So returning one Proto Giz and AT to deck bottom, and AT is played from the trash. On play, draw two and trash two. They trash Kurata and another Rage Mode. Turn over. At the start of the turn, Toma bumps the memory up to three. Active, draw, hatching, Wanyamon, which evolves into Gaumon. Now first, for 3 cost, the upper Gaugamon will evolve into Mech Gaugamon. On Evolve, return one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon to its owner's hand, so Gizmon AT is bounced. With EX4 Gaumon's Inheritable, during your turn once per turn, when in effect adds a card to your opponent's hand, gain 1 memory. Now it's not a very good idea to attack here, because Sleep Mode can simply shut the attack down while reducing their hand size, while also getting a free body off of Estamon's Inheritable. So without doing anything else, for 4 cost. Digisoul Charge, Overdrive! Surpassing max speed, the Azure Beast Knight leaves behind only illusions that fool the naked eye. As McGaugamon evolves into Mirage Gaugamon. One draw. On Evolve, return one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon to its owner's hand, but there are no targets. If no Digimon was returned by this effect, your opponent adds the top card of your security to your hand. 
Triggering Mirage Gauga's second effect on all turns, when an effect adds cards to your opponent's hand, gain one memory for every four cards in your opponent's hand. Because of the Gauga deck shenanigans, Belfamon currently has 10 cards in hand, so they gain two memory and turnover. But at the end of the opponent's turn, Belfamon Rage Mode's inheritable triggers. If this Digimon is Belfamon Slee Mode, trash the top card of this Digimon. The time has come for the Demon King's eternal slumber to end. Unleashing the full power of the Crest of Sloth, Shiver, and its roar of awakening. Tearing through its alarm clock shackles, Belfamon Slee Mode transforms into Belfamon Rage Mode. Draw Hatching, Demi Maramon. At the start of the main phase, Rage Mode goes on a rampage. Delete all of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. Next, if you have 6 or less cards in hand, this Digimon gets plus 3k DP and security attack plus 1 for the turn. But unfortunately, with 11 cards in hand, that will not be happening. Demi Maramon evolves into Gilmon. Now Rage Mode goes for security on 14k DP. Check, 1k on Gaumon. Trashed. Now for 5 cost, they will play the option card, Gifts of Darkness. Delete one of your opponent's level 6 or higher Digimon, so Mirage Gaugamon is taken out. Then, you may evolve one of your Digimon into Belfamon Sleep Mode from your trash at no cost. So Rage Mode re-enters its eternal slumber. One draw. And of course, on Evolve, it places another copy of Rage Mode on top of its evolution cards to gain effect immunity. Turnover, Gaumon is kept in the raising area. First, for 2 cost, it evolves into Gaugamon. Then, for 3, the Tamer, Nikolai Petrov is played. And finally, for another 3 cost, Blue Memory Boost. 1, 2, 3, and 4, they choose Meggaugamon. Turnover, but of course, once again, at the end of the opponent's turn, Rage Mode's inheritable triggers, trashing Sleep Mode to transform into Rage Mode. So the second Rage Mode's inheritable will no longer apply since this Digimon is no longer Belfamon Sleep Mode. Active, draw, and Gilmon moves out. First, Gizmon AT will be played. When you would play this card by deleting one of your level 3 Digimon, reduce the play cost by 4, so by killing Gilmon, AT will be played for 6 minus 4, 2 cost. But with Gilmon's effect on the leads, if deleted by an effect, gain back 1 memory. And then with Demi Maramon's inheritable, 1 draw and trash a proto. Then with AT's on play, draw 2 and trash 2. So they trash Rage Mode and another AT. Now Rage Mode goes for security on 14k DP. Check. 7k on Mechauga. Trashed. And with its second effect, at the end of attack, once per turn by deleting one of your other Digimon, unsuspend this Digimon. So by sacrificing AT, Rage Mode stands again. But of course, AT has an on delete. By placing two cards with Gizmon in your name from your trash at deck bottom in any order, you may play one XT from your trash at no cost. So returning two ATs to deck bottom, here comes the man made Gizmon XT. On play, play one Akihiro Kurata from your trash at no cost. So Kurata finally enters the fray. And now that he is on the field, during your turn, when you would play a Digimon with Belfamon in its name, by deleting one of your Digimon with Gizmon in its name, reduce the play cost by the play cost of the deleted Digimon. So sacrificing XT for 11 minus 9, only 2 cost. Another copy of the Great Demon Lord, Belfamon Sleep Mode, is played directly to the field. And on play, it absorbs the third Rage Mode from the trash to gain effect immunity. But that's not all. With Gizmon XT's on the leads, you may play one Proto Gizmon from your trash at no cost. So Proto returns, on play, one draw, and then trash, Eismon from the hand. But with the limited Eismon's effects, when you trash this card in your hand using one of your effects, if Eismon scatter mode is in your trash, you may play this card at no cost. Hence, it enters the field. Now Rage Mode will go for its second swing on 14k. Check. But it is Mirage Gaugamon's signature option card, Full Moon Meteor Impact. On security, return one of your opponent's Digimon to its owner's hand. 
Now, technically, right now, Rage Mode doesn't have any effect resistance, but if Belfamon has Estamon and another copy of Sleep Mode in hand, they could evolve Icemon into Estamon, sacrifice this Rage Mode in order to create two Sleep Modes with effect resistance. On the other hand, with no more Rage Modes in the trash, even if this Rage Mode evolves into another Sleep Mode, it won't be able to gain effect resistance. So the target they are gonna choose here is Icemon returned to the hand. Finally, for three cost, Impmon is played. First, you may trash one card in your hand. They are gonna trash Icemon, which now re-enters the field with its effects once more. If you do, return one Digimon with seven great demon lords or three musketeers in its type from your trash to your hand. So with that, they recycle Sleep Mode. And with that, turnover, Galgamon moves out. At the start of the main phase with Nikolai's effects, one of your Digimon with Gaumon or Galgamon in its name gains jamming for the turn. They choose Galgamon, which for 3 cost, evolves into Mirage Galgamon, which immediately goes for security. With 1 Yamon's Inheritable, 1 draw, and with the new BT-13 Galgamon's on attack, if your opponent has 8 or more cards in their hand, the target of this Digimon's attack can't be switched for the turn, which means Galgamon effectively becomes unblockable for the turn. Check on 7k with jamming, Sleep Mode chooses not to stop it. Check, 4k on Scatter Mode, trashed. Now the delay effect of blue memory boost, memory plus two. And for four cost, Megalgamon will evolve into the new Beast Knight of BT-13, Mirage Galgamon. One draw. On evolve, return one of your opponent's tamers to its owner's hand. Kurata is bounced. With Gaumon and Galgamon's inheritables, this gives them plus two memory. Then with Nikolai's your turn effect, he is suspended for another memory. Next, with Megalgamon's inheritable, on all turns once per turn, when an effect adds a card to your opponent's hand, unsuspend this Digimon. Next, with Mirage Galgamon's all turns effect, once per turn, when an effect adds a card to your opponent's hand, you may play one Toma from your hand at no cost. Here comes BT4 Toma. And on play, one draw. Now Mirage Gauga goes for security on 12k DP. If they get a Gift of Darkness from security, they can kill Mirage, so Sleep Mode lets it through. Check. 7k on Estamon. Trashed. Now with Toma's main effect, if your opponent has 8 or more cards in your hand, you may suspend this Tamer to unsuspend one of your Digimon with Gao in its name. So Toma is suspended to unsuspend Mirage, which goes for another swing. Sleep Mode lets it through. Final security check for Belfamon. And it is Kurata himself, now played for free. Now, by returning BT4 Toma to the hand, charge! Digisoul burst! Inspired by Toma's trust, Mirage Galgamon will temporarily exceed its limits, first evolving into Mirage Galgamon burst mode. One draw. On evolve, return one of your opponent's Digimon to its owner's hand. The target they choose is Rage Mode. Then, for every four cards in your opponent's hand, gain one memory. Right now, Belfamon has exactly 12, so Mirage Galgamon gains three memory to four. And for three cost, Toma comes back on play one draw. And of course, using his main effect again, he is suspended to unsuspend Burst Mode, which goes for the final blow. And now, with Burst Modes on attack, if your opponent has 9 or more cards in your hand, by placing cards from your opponent's hand at the bottom of your owner's deck without looking until there are 8 cards left, unsuspend this Digimon. So here is Belfamon's hand of 12 cards, shuffled, and 4 cards are returned to deck bottom. And Burst Mode unsuspends. But in response, of course, Sleep Mode will use its second effect during the opponent's turn once per turn. When your opponent's Digimon attacks, by trashing 2 cards from your hand, end the attack. So they trash Rage Mode and Matt to stop Burst Mode's assault. And with that, Belfamon's hand is finally down to 6 cards. So you see, if Sleep Mode leaves its effects for after Mirage Gauga Burst evolves, it can reduce its hand size enough to prevent Mirage Gauga from unsuspending again. So this will be Mirage Gaugamon Burst Mode's final attack. But this final attack is enough. Belfamon has no blockers on the field and no security remaining. Even if he had played a blocker instead, Mirage Galgamon is currently unblockable for the duration of the turn. So it's a direct attack and the winners are Toma and Mirage Galgamon.